The modern lifestyle and the priorities that we choose, it definitely comes with a price. Erratic sleep cycle, poor dietary choices, and lack of physical activity leads to infertility both in men and women. Now people have started looking towards yoga to find an optimal level to function their reproductive health. My name is Selena. Welcome to Shwasa.com. In this video, we're going to look at few asanas that will help us to increase the function of our reproductive organs. We're going to look at the first asana. Before we go there, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, this is the right time to do it. So the reason why we are practicing Natarajasana is to bring more stability to the hip girdle because it houses the reproductive organs. So more stable the hip girdle is, the more healthier and stabler the reproductive organs are. So let's look at how do we practice Natarajasana. It's a balancing posture. So I'll demonstrate first and then we'll practice it together. Keeping the feet uh, hip width wider, you will shift the weight to the left foot. Looking at a single point in front of you to fix the gaze, that would bring more stability to the practice. All right, You will release that right leg, you will catch hold of the ankle and extend that left hand forward. Make a gesture with the left palm, index finger and the thumb finger together. You will keep looking at the gaze in front of you and then you will lean forward. For better balance, you can slightly bend the left knee. If you're comfortable, you will press into the mounds of the left foot. You will lean forward a little and kick the right foot to the palm. You will hold the posture for five breaths. All right, so let's do the posture together. Come on to the mat. Keeping the feet a bit wider, you will shift the weight to the left. Releasing the right, you will extend that left hand forward. Lean forward a little and then posture begins now. Keep breathing, one. Even if you fall, come back. Everybody falls from the posture. Two. Leaning little forward, pressing into the left foot. Three. Kicking the right foot to the palm. Four. Longer, deeper breath. And five. Getting ready to release. Release the left palm and slowly release the right foot down. Now on the other side, I'm going to turn so it's easy for you to watch. You will shift the weight into the right foot. You will release the right left leg. Catch hold of the ankle, extend that right hand up and then you lean forward a little and kick the left foot to the palm. Gaze remain the same at one single point to find stability. Posture begins now and we will start to breathe. One, two, longer, deeper breaths, three, Four. One last breath. And five. Getting ready to release. Release the right palm first and slowly release the foot down. Stay here. Observe the breath. All right. That was Natarajasana. Now looking at the second posture to bring more of strengthening our abdominal muscle as well as the pelvic floor. Starting with Marjari Asana, known as the cat and cow, and followed up with plank posture or called as Dandasana. All right, so I will demonstrate first and then we shall do it together. Keeping the knees hip width wider, you will release the palm, bring the elbow close to the knees. And then you come up, you can take one palm ahead and then check your wrist and the shoulders in one line and the knee and the hip is in one straight line. Toe Extend it out and press into the top of the feet. Initiate the movement from the pelvis, meaning you will drop the pelvis down, drop the belly down, inhale, lift the chest up, look up. While exhaling, moving the pelvis down first. So the tailbone goes down, lower back, mid back, upper back and chin closer to the chest. So we'll practice this in a dynamic way for five rounds. And the fifth round, we will hold by pulling the pelvic forward, palms pressed firmly, you will stay here and then you will take the right leg back and the left leg back, plank posture. Again here, the pelvic is forward, core is active, thighs rolling in and the heels are pointing back. 
you will stay here for five breaths. All right, so let's do that together. Come on to the mat. Sit back and measure, elbows closer, and then you come up and take one palm away. A quick check, wrist and the shoulder one line, knee and the hip is in one line, toes are actively. Let's start. Drop the belly down and then lift the chest up, look up. While exhaling, first tailbone, lower back, mid back, upper back, chin closer to the chest, pelvic is forward. That was one round. Drop the belly down, inhale, arch, following up with the breath. Exhale, rounding the spine, chin closer to the chest. Drop the belly down, inhale, arch the spine, look up, chin up. Exhale, initiating the movement from the pelvis. Two more rounds, drop the belly down, inhale, arch the spine, look up, chin up. Exhale, rounding the spine, chin closer. Last round, dropping the belly down, inhale, arch. Elbows are straight, looking up. Exhale, rounding the spine, chin closer to the chest. Get ready for the next posture, Dandasana or so-called plank. All you will do is taking the right leg back and the left leg back. So checking if you are dropping the hips. You will lift the hips up, pull the pelvic forward. Legs are active, leaning forward, fingers are actively pressed. Posture begins now. Let's hold it here. One. Longer, deeper breath, pulling the pelvic forward. Two. Core is active and strong. Three, awareness to your thighs. Roll the thighs in and engage the thighs. Four, body is shivering. Mind two. One last. And five. Slowly and gently releasing the knees down and slowly sit back. That was how to bring strength to the abdominal organs as well as the hip girdle and pelvic floor. Now looking at how do we bring more circulation to the abdominal organs, right? So for that, we will lie down. I will demonstrate and then we will do it together. Lie down on the mat, keeping the feet again, hip width wider, forehead down. Getting ready for Dhanurasana or widely known as the bow posture. You will bend the knees, catch hold of the ankle. A firm grip, thumb finger is around the ankle. All right. Your pelvic is forward again and the navel drawn in. You will inhale, lift the head up, chest up and kick the feet to the palms and lifting the thighs off. We will stay here for five breaths. All right, so let's get onto the mat and then lie down on the belly. Again, feet are hip width wider, forehead down. Bend at the knees, you will hold the ankle. Make sure it's a firm grip. Pull the pelvic forward and the navel drawn in. Exhale first, empty the lungs. Inhale, lift the head up, chest up, and kick the feet to the palms, and lifting the thighs off. And looking ahead, relax the neck. One, longer, deeper breath. Two, lifting the thighs off. Three, checking if you can balance at the soft portion of the belly. Four, not letting the knees drop out. So draw the knees towards each other. One last. And five. Getting ready to release. Slowly release the palms right under the shoulder. Tuck the toes. And keep the knees apart. Big toes are touching, toes are extended. And then you will drop down to child's pose just for three breaths. Stay here. Two. And three, slowly release the palms are right under the shoulder and gently sit up. So the last principle that we're looking at is to bring more space as well as relaxation to all the reproductive organs as well as the pelvic girdle. Because most of the time we are seated and it's all compressed down, right? So the only way to give some relaxation to the reproductive organ is to go inverted, right? We are also looking at how do we increase or bring in our hormonal secretion to an optimal level. Surya Namaskar is one of the practice that you can include in your physical activity to bring good hormonal secretion. All right. So right now we are looking at Sarvangasana, also known as shoulder stand. All right. So 
as usual i will demonstrate first and then we will do it together so you will lie down on the back chin down to the chest palms by the side of the body and then you will lift the legs up from here use some momentum to bring the hip also up support the back keep supporting the back bring the knees close to the forehead you bring little more stability work the palms close to the midline once you're comfortable here you will extend both the legs up to the ceiling you will stay here in this posture for five breaths while releasing watch carefully very important to check how do we release the posture you will bend the knees bring the knees close to the forehead release the palms palms would act, act like a break and slowly vertebra by vertebra you will drop the spine down without lifting the head up chest up you will bring the legs up down to the mat all right we'll cross the leg and then you'll sit up one important point to remember when you are in sarvangasan make sure that you don't turn the head and look at the screen all right so let's do that together you will lie down on the mat chin down to the chest palms by the side of the body lifting the legs up hips up bend the knees bring the knees close to the forehead support it and then support the back with the fingers fingers pointing towards the hip and palm facing down and you will extend the legs up posture begins now one making sure the legs moves away and the hip closer to the face two three gazing at the toes four longer deeper breaths and five getting ready to release slowly bring the legs over and about little bend the knees release the palms and press into the forearm and the palms slowly bringing the back vertebra by vertebra and drop the back down extend the legs forward onto the mat relax gently turn to one side slowly sit up cross the legs take the hands back and throw the head back in case it fit has created any tension on the neck this might release slowly chin forward relax the palms i hope you enjoyed the practice all these postures are not only good for a good reproductive organs but also addresses menstrual issues like irregular menstrual cycle cramps and headaches during menstruation if you're looking at a professional and a convenient way to practice yoga from home join our online live classes at shwasa.com by clicking on the link at the description box i look forward to see you in the class